Welcome to 3D.SK. On this site, you can find thousands of images of whatever you need, from male and female characters, costumes, animals. We also have 3D scans, textures, texture maps, street photo reference, studio photo reference, and many more, which can all be found on this site. Hello, and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be moving on from the last tutorial, which was doing the legs and the lower body. So today, we'll be doing the upper body. So we used two techniques in the last one. One was using z-spheres and the other one was using primitives. So we're going to go with the primitives for the upper body because we're going to be doing the rib cage and some of the neck area. So I'm going to append a sphere 3D. Switch to this subtool using the move tool. I'm going to move it up. Maybe change the material to something that's a bit easier to see, like the basic material. Going to the side view, going to scale it. I'm going to turn on symmetry with X. Scale it up a little bit. And we're just trying to create the form for the rib cage. A starting point. I'm going to scale it in here a little bit. Rotate it a little bit, scale it up a little bit more. We're just trying to get that basic kind of form, which would be about here, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to use BMV. That gives us the move tool. Or you can go here and you can find it, which should be B, 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 B. Well, I've got mine up here. They can be quite hard to find, as you can see. So generally, I like to use shortcuts. Remember, it's B for brush, M, and then V. I'm going to just start moving this around to fit the form of the body a bit better. I'm using the right side as reference, not the left. To move this all in, in here, move it forward. Let's move it with shift a little bit. Turn off floor. And I'm happy with that as a basic form. Maybe just move it up here a little bit just to give a more indication of an actual rib cage. Let's move that out. Side view. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to append again, and this time I'm going to append a cylinder. Move it up. Make sure you're on the right subtool. Turn on symmetry using X. Scale it down. Rotate it. Scale it down some more. Scale it up. It doesn't have to be exact, and I like to make it quite long. And for me, that'll do. So now we have the rib cage and a neck form. Now we're going to do the deltoid area. So to do that simply, we just get another sphere 3D. Once again, we're just appending tools over and over. This time, we're not going to turn on symmetry and we're going to move it over here. Scale it down. Get it about here. Maybe scale it this way a little bit to show the deltoid. Turn off the move tool, go geometry, mirror and weld, yes. B M V for the move tool. I'm just going to move it like this. Remember to turn on symmetry. 
It's going to get some kind of basic shape going on here. Move it back. Move it down. Now I want to turn off my reference to check what's actually going on. I'm going to switch to brush clay build up, which is BCB. I'm just going to bring this form out a little bit more. Okay. And OK. Use the Alt key to push this in a little bit. Go to the back view, check what's going on with the shoulder around there. Back to the Move tool. Just creating this. So I'm fairly happy with that so far. So now what we can do is we can merge these all together. And we can go to Geometry, Dynamesh, and get a connected version. And we can use Brush Clay Build Up to start creating forms in between these. Build up some form here, hold control and drag to reapply the Dynamesh. Make some better form around here, very slightly. Smooth it out, create more form, smooth it out, create more form, smooth it out. The MV to move this up a little bit more. Just trying to get that outline right. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go to brush, I for insert, and then go to IMM primitives. I want a capsule. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to drag it in the right way. Going to rotate, scale it this way, and match this up with the clavicle. It's getting a bit hard to see, so I'd like to go to draw, enhance opacity, so I can see a bit better where the clavicle is. Okay, I've got it, it's about here. So now I can go back to floor. Can use my move tool to move these in and out. Just using this as like a reference point for the clavicle. So I can do something like that. And they're already connected, I can hold control, and then that can give me some form. But I would like to turn up my Dynamesh resolution a little bit to 224, let's say. That's a bit better. Now I can go brush clay build up, maybe build up some form here just to kind of connect these together. Now we can start adding some muscles. Here's a sternocleidomastoid. If I remember the name correctly. Start adding the muscle here. Start adding the pectoral.
So muscles that come from the rib cage, you go in between the rib cages. I'm gonna just do that. Okay. I'm gonna just fill this part in a little bit more. Clavicle is a bit more down. Just trying to match it to the reference a little bit. But also using my own knowledge of anatomy to figure out what exactly is going on. So I'm going to use the brush, damn standard, to create an indent here. Brush inflate tool, to inflate this a little bit. And that's going to give us kind of what we want. I'm going to go to the side view. Sorry, I was mistaken. The anatomy. This is a sternocleidomastoid. This is the trapezius. Remove some some here. And this will just be you creating your anatomy. Okay, now there's a muscle here. Obviously these muscles come here, go like that. You also have the crinolean, I think it's called. It's about here, it's the top of the scapula. We can kind of get out of the scapula a little bit more if we wanted. If this person's a bit more skinny, we can look at the reference. looking a little bit blobby because I've put in a bit too much detail too fast so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to just sorting out the main forms a little bit and adhere adhering to her body okay so what I want to do now is I want to go and get rid of some of this blobbiness. So I want to go to Z remesher. Let's try target poly count one. We're just trying to get that kind of blobbiness gone. Okay, that feels a lot better to me. Now I can divide that. And that gets rid of that kind of blobbiness that we had before. You can go back into Dynamesh if you like. Just trying to simplify it a little bit. So I generally like to do it. Just try and take it in a creative way, get it blobby, and then you can always just go back and uh, get it right later. Get rid of some of that blobbiness that comes with Dynamesh. We haven't checked out the top view a lot, so I'd like to do that, and I'd like to just pinch these in a little bit. Okay. Find out where the rib cage is from the reference. So it's a lot more up, it's about here. Just move that up. Let's check out the side view. 
Then we can get our lower body, go back to that. Then we can just move that up. Go back here. Kind of use these two intersecting parts to kind of get what we want from this. We go here and go by DS, push down standard, and we can kind of go like that. Trying to get some kind of shapes going on. Hips about here. If I'm, if I'm thinking about it correctly, yep, the hip is round about here. Yeah, and then it would come around to here. Let's move this out a little bit. And we have some basics going on. Okay, so that's it for this part. We have now done the upper body. The next tutorial will be covering the arms. Thanks a lot. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll be going over the arms and the upper chest, carrying on from this tutorial where we've done the upper body. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Welcome to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with feedback and suggestions below, and you can also comment on what you'd like to see us do in the future. Thank you, and goodbye.